All right. Let's lay down some grand rules on pricing because I think there's people that are uh, screwing us with lockpicks. So we were oh, doing... Plenty of so I'm thinking we just start robbing mother truckers that are selling lockpicks. Like we just roll up on them and we yoink their stuff. I think... Listen, I have never in my life seen a chop list go from like 50 minutes being emailed to like two cars left. It's going really fast. <laughs> what? Bro, the, yeah, it, it goes through really quick. Like, literally, like, eight minutes. True. So, I think we can either set up, like, uh, we start charging people that come to chop, and we take, like, a fee off of the stuff they're chopping to slow them down, or we just rob people that are making lockpicks. By the way, I, I can see it from right here, bro. Flippy's got a massive boner that we're having a meeting right now. Um, well, Jack, who, who's in bubble? Like, who sells lockpicks for, like, for you guys? I sell lockpicks. Is it just you? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, that's good then. Because what I've been doing is, um, anytime someone, like, tweets or whatever, they're selling lockpicks, uh, which I've only, we've only been able to get one guy. Uh, we set him up and we took his shit. He had 11 lockpicks on him. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we've I? been talking to the people to be buying materials for like 35 a pop, too. Yeah, that's crazy. That is like, I don't even understand that, where that number came from. So what, what a lot of people have been doing is they've been going down to the recycling place where, you know, so many people are. And they just wait down there saying, buy materials. And that's how I keep catching these guys. Yeah, but how much, you yeah, know? we just met a guy there. How much uh, can they sell those materials to the recycling plant for? Like who's well, Kyo? Not... Who's who's Kiyoshima? That's me. That's me. That's me. That guy sounds well, like I... a loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought the <laughs> was like street price, ten dollars per. Yeah, I just got a guy to sell it to me for four bucks. I think ten dollars the high end. Antoine du du, du Bois. Who's that? Let me call well, this that guy. That was the guy we just snatched up and put him in the trunk. I think. Is this shit still up? Ask him how much he's selling materials for. We're buying. Sounds like he's French. That's the guy we put in the trunk. Go for Antoine. Hey man, hey, how much you uh, you what you buy materials for? I got about 150 materials I would like to sell. If uh, you got a nice uh, purchase order. Jesus Christ. You got it. Sorry, sir, but I am not allowed to. I'm not in the buying. You're not in the buying. You, you got an ad up that says you're buying, man. Are you lying? You no, got you about I'm to have fake lying. news. Okay. You know what, no, man? Sir. You French people are a bunch of liars. Wait Even the me. parliament. Please. Oh my god. Let me talk. All right, he's not buying anymore. He's scared the hell. He says, I'm not allowed to buy materials anymore. So that works. Okay. That guy is pooping his pants over there. Let me tell you, the French Revolution is currently happening. It's crazy. All right, so he doesn't even know. He's just, he's like, I don't know. I've heard the price of the streets 35. So the price of the streets, everyone's hearing 35, 35, 35. I think if a bunch of us put buying materials at three or four dollars, then people that are buying materials will not try to buy them at 40. You know what I mean? Like, we can set the market price if all six of us put out numbers. I yeah, feel like not wrong. that's crazy. 35 bucks a pop. He that's nasty. He wanted to buy 25 aluminum for $1,000. You make your money back uh -huh. on the lock picks, but you can't even progress on the bench like that. How far along are you guys in uh, progression? Uh, I got a little bit. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Spill the beans, Jack Arino, because Ming looked at you right when I asked. Literally just went, uh, eh? I mean, I got a little shocker, but I'm not touching that shit. I'm not being the first one to do that shit, bro. That, okay. Bro, I'm telling you, I just got shocker on. That's the first reaction I had, bro. I'm like, I ain't touching that. It, <laughs> I am not gonna be that guy that's gonna sell. Yeah, honestly, bro, I, just, I, I just have Ming, just have Ming be the first one. He, he'll, no, he'll, right. We all know who's gonna be selling that shit tomorrow. We all know. <laughs> yeah. Eugene's gonna be rolling around selling <laughs> shotguns like yeah. Ming shit. He's gonna go up to people like nothing, bro. <laughs> oh, should I need to answer this side? All right, so let's set the prices now. What five fifty or six fifty for the lock picks? Uh, we've been doing, if they buy first, pay like 900 for it for the first time coming. And then if they come back to you, we, we tell them 600. Oh, wow. 900. Okay. Hold up. People have been buying that shit too. Bro, you see, Flip? Um, we should just, yeah. we should really 
Yeah, we should do that. I think the thing, the problem though, is that like lock picks. There's no way that price. I think someone new is gonna freaking buy that, but they're gonna realize it's not like gonna stay. But yeah, because it's one 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 mess up break. They don't know that when they do it. Yeah, but they'll come back and buy more. Uh. What what do you think is a good price for materials? Uh, I think Jack's been paying like ten per. Ten, yeah, I think ten's good. Yeah. Ten sounds good, yeah. Ten to twelve or some shit like that. Yeah, it's good. I think nothing more than ten, but I'm gonna buy for four just because I'm cheap. Yeah. 